It was very good and lovely, and I really liked all the arts here. It's really good. Yeah. Um, my favorite one was um, the playground one. Really? Yeah. What about the dancers and the, the music? Did you like yeah. that too? That was all good? Yeah. <laughs> Having been a part of the Creative Foundation at a young age, where I was introduced to some great mentors, such as Isa, who had taught me that there's no limitation to whatever you try doing. Just get started, do your best, learn and grow until you find your success. I've taken those life lessons with me and uh, I've always been appreciative of those times in my life. So thank you, Isa. When I looked at the uh, vision statement for what the Canadian Black Artists United is all about, it's essentially going to be a collaborative environment where individuals, artists, can create, they can innovate, and they now have a home to exhibit their work on a local, national, and global stage. As Senator Bovi had said, it's most crucial that there's going to be an opportunity for these artists to get their much-needed resources to grow and to cultivate their talents. So I feel very proud that we're seeing another chapter in Canadian history, Black Canadian history, I should say, uh, that's now going to be introduced. I also feel very uh, positive looking at uh, front and center, all the young faces that are some excited, some not so excited. They haven't probably yet seen the gallery, but I know the future for Black artists will be very bright and I can't wait to see what impact that will do for the youth in Canada and possibly globally. So I thank you for your time and enjoy the gallery. Isa has legitimately, consistently, um, in such a, a welcoming and collaborative manner for decades, made the art scene in Manitoba and across the country far more representative than it has ever been. And he has been a proponent for ensuring that Black voices and Black representation are not uh, excluded, are not silenced, are not erased within the context of not only Manitoba, but nationally. That is back-breaking work. That is a heavy load to carry. And he has done it with nothing but kindness and authenticity for, again, decades. Can we please just, again, acknowledge himself? I'm very grateful to be able to be here today. And in my capacity as the MLA for Union Station, I'm grateful to be able to congratulate the Canadian Black Artists United on behalf of our NDP caucus and our leader, Rob Canoe, on behalf of my own self. Um, on this monumental moment in time. This is a historic moment. You know, I'm someone who has been passionate about the arts throughout my entire life. I'm fortunate to have been raised in a household where art and black artists and black voices were, were not just important, they were foundational to how we were raised to see the world. And Growing up here as a first-generation Canadian, I am Nigerian, I am Igbo, I have an understanding and an appreciation for how Black people have contributed to the very fabric of this country. And not everyone has that. Not everyone has an appreciation and understanding of how integral Black people have been to how this country has been evolving for a very long time. And the efforts of Canadian Black Artists United will ensure that Black voices, that Black artistry, that our lived experiences, our history, our present and our future will never again be erased or minimized. This is an incredibly historic moment because it is being led by and self-determined by Black artists. And that cannot be overstated. And so I'm grateful to be able to share this space and hold this space with all of you today as we get to be here for a historic moment. And as we get to support the work of Yisa and all of these incredible artists who every single day make not only our communities here in Manitoba, as Senator has very well said, better for all. 
but for everyone across the country. And I'm excited to know that the narrative around this is happening in a prairie province, it's happening here in Winnipeg, here in Manitoba, because black art and black voice in the prairies is so often overshadowed by Ontario or, you know, further out east. Manitoba, the prairies, we have our own important narrative here. We have incredible artistic change makers. And it is incredible to me that it's so important it's being established and led and announced here today. So again, congratulations to all of those who contributed to this historic moment. And I look forward to all of us in this room and well beyond this space, working together to support Canadian Black Artists United as they move forward and ensure that Black artists and Black voices that are truly a part of the fabric of this country continue to be amplified, celebrated, and affirmed. Thank you. So on behalf of the Black History Month Manitoba, much pride, much love, with the hope of seeing great works in our art gallery here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, and indeed, and indeed in art galleries across Canada and maybe across the world. Finally, you have certainly made history here in Manitoba. So congratulations, and you all make me so proud. Thank you. Impression. I value the talent of musical artists who create awareness of culture, value and heritage through music. Some of their songs create awareness of what is going to what is going on in our in our environment, while some was like a prophecy of present and future of our society. I am not talking of those artists or musicians who use F or N words to excite their peers. Please let their record die on arrival. Don't put your money on it. Thanks, Mr. Kimbolaji, for establishing various group of artists. Our community will benefit from their collaborations. I urge our community to embrace and support this unique establishment and to be anxious to hear from different artists. God bless every one of you. Thank you for coming. Since I met uh, Yisa Kimbolaji, it has been very, very great for me. I was dancing and doing my thing, not getting money. And then he came along and he said, no, 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 you are an artist. You, you put gas in your car. You can't just be performing for people for free. It's not done that way. And from there on, everything escalated. But everything boils down, because we have our community here, I want to encourage each one of you that in this community, let us go out and see the opportunity that is there. I joined the Folklorama, the Africa Caribbean um, Pavilion. They took me in through Mr. Jim Ogunoiki at the time. And the, my group started in 1994, and we kept on going, even with the Folklorama. So please, let us come together, see what goes on in our community, see what goes on in the city of Winnipeg and be able to enjoy it. Let's not just keep to ourselves. So I had to change things around, even for my stories. Stories in Africa that we say, somebody's head was cut off. You can't say that kind of story here in Canada. You have to know what ending you put to your story. So all these things are things that we need to learn. I'm here to also sing to us, before I leave here, just to thank you. There is a place in Canada we often call it Winnipeg. It's a place of joy and happiness. 
Take me to Winnipeg. Take me to Winnipeg. Take me to Winnipeg. It's a place of joy and happiness. Take me to Manitoba. Take me to Manitoba. Take me to Manitoba. It's a place of joy and happiness. Take me to Canada. Take me to Canada. Take me to Canada. It's a place of joy and happiness. Thank you very much. Thank you.